All right. So now for the level three. So there are 42 cards and they have been labeled with the numbers from one to 42. And then after this, they were randomly shuffled into a stack. And then after this, the cards are removed one by one off the top of the stack until a card with the prime number is removed. So we want to find the number of cards removed on average. Another way we can say this is the expected number of removed cards. And so obviously first, first what we should do is find the number of primes from 1 to 42. And if we do that, we find that the primes are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, and 41. And that leaves a total of 13 primes. And so what that means is that so the no, if we completely draw all 42 numbers, if we neglect the primes that are drawn, we can split the rest of the numbers into 14 groups. And so the 14 groups in question would be drawn before first prime that is drawn, the first prime that is drawn, and the next group would be drawn between first and second prime and the next would be the second and the third between the second and the third and this would continue on to the between the 13th and the 14th and then the final one is when it's drawn after the 14th actually sorry this should be bet drawn between the 12th and the 13th primes. And so the final group would be drawn after the 13th prime that is drawn. And of course, it could be possible for an one of these groups to have zero values in them. And it also could be possible for them to have all of the non-prime numbers in them. And so the number of numbers here that are not prime is 42 minus 13 is 42 minus 13 which is equal to 29 and so what that means is that there are 29 cards and 14 groups and each of these cards goes into any random group because all of them are independent and the cards are basically drawn at random. So basically they can go into any of these 14 groups. And so that means that the, av the average number of cards removed before the first prime is removed, sorry, the number, the average number of cards removed when the game stops, which is after the first prime is removed, is just the average size of this group. And the average size of all 14 groups on average are equal, sorry, the size of all 14 groups on average are equal. And also there's a total of 29 to split between the 14 groups. So the average per group is just equal to 29 over 14. And so that's the average size of a group. However, we, we also need to include the fact that the game stops after the first prime is drawn. And so 29 over 14 is the average size before the first prime is drawn. And we need to add one here because the prime is still a value, it's still one card, and so this adds up to 
43 over 14. And so the answer is 43 over 14. So does anyone have any questions about this problem? Okay, well, it didn't seem like it, so let's move on to the next question. And so, find the number of solutions to the system of equations x to the 6 plus x cubed plus x cubed y plus y equals 147 to the power of 157 and x cubed plus x cubed y plus y squared plus y plus z to the power of 9 equals 157 to the power of 147. And so, first of all, we can look at these equations, mod 19. And so if the, solution, if the equations have no solution in mod 19, then that can just directly show that there are no solutions. Uh, and so the answer for this question I should first say is just that there are zero solutions. And so if you look at it mod 19, you can find, and if there are zero solutions, then you can successfully show that there are zero solutions. And so first of all, we can look at 147 and 157 mod 19. And so we can easily see that 157 is congruent to 5 mod 19 and 147 is congruent to negative 5 mod 19. <clears throat> and so now we can find, now for the sake of convenience, to make it easier, we can find 5 to the n mod 19. And so if we do that, 1 is corresponds to 5, 2, well, n equals these values on the left. So when n is equal to 2, it's 6. When n is 3, it equals 11. When n equals 4, then it's congruent to 17. When n is 5, it's congruent to 9. When n equals 6, it's congruent to 7. When n equals 7, 5 to the n is congruent to <clears throat> 16. When n is equal to 8, 5 to the n is congruent to 4. And finally, when n is equal to 9, 5 to the n is congruent to 1. And so, that's just to make it easier. And so now you can see that 147 to the power of 157 is congruent to negative five to the power of 157. And so by Fermat's little theorem, we can simplify 157 down to it. So that is congruent to negative five to the power of 13. And this is done by Fermat's little theorem. And so now here, we can see that the order of 5 mod 19 is just equal to 9. And so that means that negative 5 to the power of 13 is also congruent to negative 5 to the power of 4. And so <clears throat> after this, we can see that this is congruent to negative 17. And, and this can be simplified to 2. Yeah. So, uh, excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. 
I wrote something slightly wrong here, so negative five to the power four, which is equal congruent to two mod nineteen. Okay, I just won't write mod nineteen here. And so after this, one fifty seven to the power of one forty seven is congruent to five to the power of one forty seven. And once again, by Fermat little theorem, we can see that this is congruent to five cubed which is 125. And we can easily simplify this down to 11 mod 19. And so now we can take both of these equations mod 19. And so what we find then is that two is congruent to x cubed, x to the sixth plus x cubed, plus x cubed y plus y. And so this is can be factored as x cubed times x cubed plus one plus y times x cubed plus one, which is equal to x cubed plus one times x cubed plus y. And now here, you can see that this is 11, is, and sorry, the second equation simplifies to 11 is congruent to x cubed plus x cubed y plus y squared plus y plus z to the 9. And so this is equal to z to the 9. We can factor this as z to the 9 plus x cubed times y plus 1 plus y times y plus 1, which is again factorable to z to the ninth plus x cubed plus y times y plus 1. And so now what we can do here is add up these two equations. Now what that tells us is that and notice that both of these share the factor of x cubed plus y. And so what that does, what that means is that we can factor this again. And so what that gives us is that z to the ninth plus x cubed plus y times x cubed plus y plus 2. It is congruent to 13. And so this by difference of squares is equal to x cubed plus y plus 1 squared minus 1. And so what that means is that x cubed plus y plus 1 squared plus z to the power of 9 is congruent to 14 mod 19. <clears throat> And so now we already know by Fermat's little theorem that for any z, z to the power of 18 is congruent to 0 or 1 mod 19. And so what that means is that z to the power of 9 can be congruent to negative 1, 0, or 1 mod 19. And negative 1 is congruent to 18. So this is 0, 1, or 18 mod 19. And now what that means is that x cubed plus y plus 1 squared is congruent to either 14, 13, or 14 minus 18, which is negative 4. And if we subtract this out correctly, this is that gets to 15 mod 19. And so now we can test the perfect squares mod 19. And if we do that, we can find that the possible residues are squares are 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 6, 6 squared is 17. 7 squared is 11, and 8 squared is 7. 
And after this, it will just repeat again because 9 squared is congruent to negative 8 squared, which is congruent to 8 squared. Oh, sorry, no, not congruent to this one. This is equal to. And so, however, none of these values are equal to these values. And so what that means is that there is no value that is in common. And so what that means is that this system of equations has zero solutions. So does anyone have any questions? Okay, well, if not, so some final announcements before you can leave. So that's it for today. And so next week, uh, Mr. Lee will be the host of our meeting. And Alex Chen will give out the pro weekly problem set and explain the problem sets next Friday. And next week's guest lecturer will be Neil Yen. And so thank you for coming and goodbye. Bye.